Hello, my name is John Gosebert and I am Final Boss Fight's GM for this Tomb of Annihilation campaign. As the dust settles on the arguments, we return to find Torin and Nixit. Dilla stands up and kind of looks back to um, where Nixit and Torin were. And let's see what's happening there. And you, cut, and you cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to where we were and see what he was going to say. Okay. I called Scratch down. I mean, can you actually imagine that uh, while people are arguing, suddenly someone says, You just hide people with scales. And in the meantime, we are done and Philip are happily killing a crocodile. And what what, what was Theodas going to say? No, go ahead with Corin and um, I think that was right it down. Thingy. <laughs> Torin, Torin and, and the other one. <laughs> um, I guess after she calms down a bit, she'd say something like, "It just, it just hurts. It's, I've grown up. I've grown up with so many different races. It's like we're all a family and." They didn't judge me. I was just one of them. Nobody's, nobody's ever judged me before for being what I am. Scary. Throughout the entire time he's had your, his hand on your shoulder, he's just been kind of breathing very hard. <laughs> like he's been trying to calm himself. And then just lets out a shuddering. <sighs> Unfortunately, mistrust comes many times with us draconic races. But why? Fear. Misunderstanding. I mean, I can understand him not liking me for other reasons, but I... I'm sorry, I... When you said that I could do what I want, I thought I could... Maybe stay for a little while, just to... See if the baby would be safe, but I... I meant what I said, if... If he'd killed me, it would come at a terrible cost to all of you. Hmm. Well... Judging by his actions, evidently something has happened in his past concerning kobolds. It is safe to assume. What it is, I do not know. But you cannot expect him, judging by his reaction, it must have been something extreme. And as much as it pains me to say it, you cannot ex- you... I don't think you will get any sort of trust from him. I wish to be wrong. But I don't think there will be. Well, I mean... Majority is against me, and if I stay, like, what you've done to my book, Melody, he might... He's, um... Well, the thing is, Melody's not actually his name. Oh. I mean, I um... doubt he seems to know that name. You can either tell me or whisper it. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> oh, I don't know. I'll whisper it. You can react accordingly. <laughs> His name is Sauron Darth Vader, Lord of the yeah. Sith. Have you heard the legends of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Hey, have you hey, ever heard of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Sunday. His name is... Banu from the... Bloody I will understand all of the references. No, that, that's, that, that's, I've, I've literally just copied and pasted what she said, no. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, I, I don't wonder why he goes by the name of Melody then. If, <laughs> if you have copy and pasted it, she's been telling me very different things. <laughs> Just He's the bard. <laughs> kind of nods. Yeah, well, that's Melody. Well, we have a pair. That's right. That would explain what I felt from you. What did you Oh, that would be great if it was Malzare. <laughs> I, I mean what I've said. From you, there is no evil, no good. Neutrality would be the best way to describe it. The possibility of either. And with that, it doesn't matter who your patron is. I just have a feeling. So the issue is, is what he can do. Because well, I can do. What Melody can do, because it's bad enough. Enough that they've just scorched my book. He... Let's just say he doesn't take very kindly to... Um... People, um... Damaging those who work for him. Indeed. After all, he's put... He's seen something in you. And it's obvious that he wouldn't want his investment damaged. Call so far as I understand um, that kind of thing. He, he called me special. Like, I read a tome of his. I just. All of his words came to me in a song. It's what he let. Me call him Melody. Well, I'm not going to judge you. I've had enough judgment. I know what it's like to be judged by what you look like and what you are. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize to me. And I... <clears throat> I'm sorry. I couldn't help the baby. So you cut out, sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't help the baby either. I kind of feel, because obviously he didn't hear what Narala Pranala whispered to both of those people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of feel it may be better if the baby did go with you. Well, you're going I mean exceptionally dangerous place from what I can understand yes that, that that's what I was thinking I, and I got I took quite a lot of money from where you found me I could 
support him for a little while and I wouldn't just take him away forever. You could, like, come back and I'd give him back. Of course, it would be a temporary thing. You would tell us where you'd probably reside and you'd reside there. Maybe take a place up in Port Nyanzaru or something like that. I, I You'd have to return suppose, there eventually. Yeah, I could stay in Charles for a little while. But either way, you'd need to convince Philip of that. Well, I would, but he's not here. I know, <clears throat> but I'm sure he'll be around at some point. I'm sure he's not run off and fighting crocodiles or something. <laughs> 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 I mean, I also... He's he's not actually at the top of the map at the moment either. Yeah, he's, he's not there. He's he's not actually there. That would be very convenient. Mm. <laughs> he's he's not there at all. He has a doppelganger. Kill it. He's not a doppelganger. <laughs> he's not literally at thirty-five feet away from. <laughs> <laughs> he's hidden in the darkness now. <laughs> um. Carry on. Yes. Let us. Dance. No. <laughs> That's random. <laughs> they start. They just start doing like the old Gangnam Style dance. <laughs> Another and reason to to kill Nixit then. Just just as Theodas looks back, he just goes, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> and with that, uh, Torin and Nixit part ways. I'm assuming. I suppose so. Uh, I thought you wanted the baby. Yeah, I thought you wanted the baby. Did you well, stay for the baby? I knew. Mm. <laughs> Torin did tell okay. you he's going to go back eventually. <laughs> I think at this point the solution would be that Nixit stay just outside of the camp and uh, Philip is the one to bring out the baby if he needs to. <laughs> Yeah, All right, I'll tell. Yeah, hmm? I'll tell Torin then that like, I'll stay not like, not like obviously at the camp or like right next to the camp, but nearby at the camp, and he can go and tell Felice if there comes a time where he wants to put the baby somewhere safe. That's where I'll be. I mean, you could stay in the bazaar where the where the group found you initially. I mean, I could. Oh, you uh, might want to... All my friends kind of just died there. You might want to clear out all the dead bodies inside <laughs> it. But... Yeah, I know, yeah, you but could, you could it's just a bit of a scarring the... moment. You could just go to the harbour, actually. He sat there like Les Miserables. Oh, this is a dirty table. <laughs> I would actually be reassured that uh, you would actually go to the harbour where there are actually merchant people and stuff like that instead of a cave in the middle of the jungle. Fine, then I'll go there then we have to get there and give the baby over well i mean <laughs> you can you can just find a house like there's plenty of buildings in omu that are not labeled on the map as useful buildings but you can designate one that nix it will go to and wait for the baby for a while and if it doesn't come he goes ah. and so with that does torin head back to the camp he escorts her to wherever she designates is going to be her little home base for for a yeah. little while, and then it's back to camp. And uh, I imagine by that point, like Seraphine, Vernala, and Theodos have made their way back to the camp. Yeah. Uh, Romad, does Romad make his way back to the camp? Uh, I think Romad did a while ago. He is He's missing. missing. What? what? So yeah, when we yeah, arrive yeah. at camp, he's not there, right? Yeah. Just a note saying, in uh, newspaper lettering, saying, we have Romad. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll we'll deal with that next time. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but yeah, when Torin leaves Nixit, Nixit will complete the ceremony to get her book back. And as soon as you complete the ceremony... <laughs> That's not yes. <laughs> Sorry, I just got distracted by the note. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Go suck an L horn. <laughs> Love from Orion. 
That's not how you spell romad. Uh. <laughs> oh, I love it. As soon as. <coughs> oh, gee. As soon as you complete the ritual, uh, to summon your new book, uh, the little candle, candle lights that you have lit, flare. <gasps> and out of the flames steps Melody. Oh, so you found you, Master. Just looks up at his towering fucking 13 feet height. <laughs> what? It's a little cosy in here. And he you could have picked something with a higher ceiling. <laughs> and he shrinks down to fit the space. Uh, I, I apologize, I kind of forgot that. Master! You appear to loose this. And he hands you the perfectly unburnt book. Thank you, I... I promise I'll take better care of it next time. Now tell me, were the mean people mean to you? Uh, well, some, some were very nice, but the elf, well, he was very, very mean. And Melody just cracks his knuckles. Do you need um, me to do something about that? Um, um, well, um, I, um, I, I, I don't want you to, like, you know, kill him or anything, because, you know, he's got important stuff to do, um, but, um, he, he, he did, um, threaten to kill me quite a bit, and then he tied me to a post, and that wasn't very nice, so maybe, maybe, very teeny tiny bit of pain that I wouldn't mind that just don't tell him I sent you <laughs> oh he's got plenty of that in his future don't worry <laughs> and Bye he's then. gone <laughs> meanwhile right <laughs> I guess that's my cue bye, <laughs> bye. I actually have a meeting to go to, so yeah, bye guys! Oh, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. bye! Bye! Uh... <laughs> Where is self on the map? <laughs> Where... Ah, there we go, that better. Uh, as you move inside the shrine... Yes. Moss clings to the stonework throughout this hall. The mosaic floor depicts a tall bird using its long pointy beak to pin down a monstrous frog-like creature with tentacles sprouting from its shoulders. Set into the far wall is a set of stone double doors. Okay. Um, what's this pillar in the middle? Uh, that would be the mosaic floor, I believe. Okay. Can I try and push the door open? What is your strength? My strength is ten. Then no. Mine is um, sixteen. Uh, between the two of you heaving, yeah. the door... Lightly pushing, just like feeling really sick. And... <laughs> the door swings open. Oh, thank God. Winting and enjoying that. I don't like the fact the turn order just appeared. <laughs> That's because Rayodan is still highlighted for me as having a turn right now. And I'm trying to get it to go away. And it's not. Go right. oh, away, goodies. Meanwhile, not somewhere, Romat has just beaten someone with a chess set. <laughs> Tammy. Right. Tammy. Oh, Tammy has just lost a game done. of chess. Can I do a perception check while we're in here? Down. Uh, you can, but let me read you the description of the room you've just walked into. Okay. Uh, an empty pedestal stands in the middle of the chamber. Six statues face it from the alcoves in the walls, the stars that you can see. Uh, they depict bare-chested humans with the heads of different animals. From left to right, the heads resemble those of a lizard, a jaguar, a lobster a toucan, a bat, and a frog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I roll the perception now? Or is you may roll else? the perception if you like. 
Are you looking for anything in particular, or just generally looking? I'm trying looking? to see if there's any mechanism the cube would come out of. You can't see anything mechanical that would suggest how to do that. Do we uh, see it? You okay. can both see uh, this. This. Uh, this. <laughs> Oh. Comes with sunshine. sunshine. Uh, with night. Hides in darkness, does not bite. Always joined to its caster, never strays from. Oh, I know. The shadow. That sounds uh, good to me. No, thank you. So. I think Shadow makes sense. Shadow makes sense. Okay. How do we use shadow here? Is there a light source in the room? Uh, there is a torch on the wall. Which wall? Uh, there are torches here and here mounted on and, the wall. Or uh, other text. Around the floor. This is the only one. That is the only text you've seen so far, and it is written in common. So uh, I'm, I don't realize. So which animal is supposed to be worshipped in this temple? Well, from the look of the outside, it was a bird with sort of needle-like beak, but I I don't see that one here. You I'm did. Right, I don't see. It. You did the the mosaic depicted. Yes, I know that, that but I mean, we don't see a statue. You of... do not see a, a statue with that head. Hmm. Mind you, on the mosaic, it was attacking the frog. So what if I put myself so that my shadow goes on the one with the frog head on the statue? Uh, there is there is a frog head. Which one is it? I don't know. One furthest on the, as you said, left to right. So, I think uh, it's so yes, the one right. furthest right. I don't so really know how one. they're marking that one, but yes, we'll say that one. Okay. So, um, Philip put himself so that the head of his of his own shadow is on the frog head. Nothing happens. Hmm. I would like to take a look at the pedestal and see whether. I can cut. Can I cast shadows over the pedestal? Uh, you can attempt to. Okay, I would like to attempt to cast a shadow over the pedestal. See if anything happens. Nothing happens. Hmm. Hmm. The animals can be random. There must be something. Hmm. Does it seem like there's. Any form of oh, actually, hang on. The um, I... the light sources and where they are placed are not casting uh, light onto the statues. Okay, can I take one of the torches and go to the statues? Yes. Okay, so I take one of the torches. I do the same. And I'm going to go one at a time. I'm going to go to this one first. Nothing. Go to the next one. Felif. Yes. As you bring the torch in front of this statue, and this is the statue of the bat headed uh, mm -hmm. creature, uh, you can make out. a pathway. Oh. There is a pathway behind this statue. Rayadon, I, I found a, a, uh, some kind of secret path behind the statue. Do you Can you see one? Or, uh, as as one soon as you move the torch away so that the shadow is not casting on the back wall, uh, the the wall reappears. Oh. I'm not seeing one over here. But you say there's one over there? Yes, <clears throat> behind the bat. Can we uh, move the bat? I don't know. Let's try it. 
I mean, uh, is there space for me to go around? The there is backs? space that you could crawl into it. It would be tight. Mm, but, I will try that. But you can fit in. The perks of being a cat. You squeeze. And you squeeze. Hmm. And you get into this room, Felif. And mm -hmm. there is a strange grid etched into the wall of this. I'm going to follow. I live in a space for garden to get into it. Oh. This grid is etched into the wall. Hmm. Interesting. Is there any text? Anything? No. Hmm. Does it react to the light? No. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. As an idea, we brought light into here. Mm -hmm. If if I block the tunnel with myself and we have the light on the other side. You take a look and see whether maybe that changes. We've been behind mm -hmm. a bat after all and the bat is meant for the night. Yes. So basically I try to cover the light source without destroying it. Okay. So you, you go back into the tunnel and block the entrance so that no light's getting into the small room. Yes. Mm -hmm. Philippe. Yes. Do you have dark vision? Yes. Nothing changes in the room. Hmm. Okay. Now, shit, we both got dark vision. We do. But, uh, okay. Actually, if... yeah, the only person in the party that doesn't have dark vision is uh, Theodas. Not Theodas. Uh, I Torin. Mean... <laughs> Do you have a dark vision? Yeah. I'm feeling that. Okay. Yeah, She's a no. no. I'm going to reach up and I'm going oh, to touch. Oh, right. They live in the mountains as well. I want to touch the tiles. Okay. As I press them, do they feel like they move at all? No. But there is, you can tell from them that there is a very definite pattern to the light and dark tiles. That I can see. Turn to them, saying that there seems to be a map of sorts, but a map of what, I don't know. <sighs> trying to make a presumption of what it's trying to tell us is a different... Uh... Hmm. For the sake of it, John, just yes. to double check, when it comes down to, there are just two different views. I can see that there's one which seems almost like there's a yellow one. There are just two different colours, yes. There are just two different colours, okay. Okay. So it's all about shadows on the... Jet. Mm. Jet light doesn't seem to affect this. Mm. Can I try to take a tile off? Uh, they are affixed to the wall very firmly. Okay. Right, so it's got to mean something. It has to be. If only I could see that this was something from which we were just in. Mm. Hold on. Um, was hold on a second. Uh, John, you mentioned uh, if I had dark vision, can you uh, t t t tell us 
about the statues again? What animals are they? Uh, they are lizard, jaguar, lobster, toucan, bat, and frog. Only the bat has dark vision amongst those. Mm. Um. Only we had a one. I half think that each one is going to have a point. I mean, we found the, the entrance of the tunnel quite easily, but what if we're not done with the statues? Because it seems too easy to. I agree. The, the there has to be something else to each one of these. Would you like to there make to an intelligence check? Yes, please. I can try. Attempt. Do it. Intelligence. Where is intelligence? Uh, <laughs> it's... Better than that. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Along the... <laughs> oh, God! Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, Philip no says Odoi, and Yadana says Odoi. Raylan does want to try something, though. Okay. okay. We've seen what this place is like with light. Why don't we take away the light? Mm. The shadow helps with one of them. Maybe he'll help with another one. That's helpful. <clears throat> so what are you going to do with the lights? So, hang on. Hmm. Raiden is really, really thinking this one over. So, what do we have again? We have um, a jaguar. To... You said we had a. You've got I'm... a lizard, a jaguar, a lobster, a toucan, a bat, and a frog. I'm going to shut my uh, torch okay. and then go to the room before we are done. Shut his. Uh, which one would be the toucan? Uh. Token would be effectively the opposite Token of... Token would be this bird. one. Maybe... Can I feel around to see if there's anything behind it? There is not. There's just a wall. Hmm. But... They're all on the heads of these pins. They don't look like masks. They don't nope. look like masks at all. You okay, so... You spend another half hour or so pondering. Yeah. Or would you like to maybe make the uh, intelligence checks? Oh, well. Yes. I rolled better! Um, so, <laughs> well, I rolled so better. Did, so uh. did you have to unshut his, uh, his torch as well? <laughs> Yay. I, wait, oh, I need the same score on both. Exactly the same. <laughs> okay, right. A lobster would be underwater. We don't have any. Mm. Jaguar would be fast. I could run around, but I don't think that's going to help. Uh, can I try moving the statue? Hang on. They are fixed firmly in place. Hmm. For the sake of the squares up here, we could potentially see some... I, I I will try touching the, fe the head uh, on here. several parts to see if something feels. Let's go back and take a look at this thing again. Okay, so taking. I take touchy it. touchy the face. Nope. This is about the light. What if maybe? Google. I don't know. Uh, can I put my both my hands on the statue's eye, or okay, is it a bit so... too much? Uh, no, you can put the hands on the statue's eyes. Okay, I try to do that with the one I'm handling right now. You cover its eyes, and there is a grinding of gears, Ooh, and then it stops. We are done. What did you do? I covered the statue's eyes, and it's. It made a noise. You covered uh, the eyes of that one? Yeah. Which one did you cover the eyes of? Uh, that's, that one it should be the... Um, uh, that is frog. the frog. Cover the eyes of the frog. Okay. 
Oh, no. I don't want to edit the token, thank you. <laughs> uh, the magic that she worked. Okay. Conceiving that my intelligence was so low, I go to cover the eyes of this one and see whether anything happens. There is another grinding of gears for about the same length of time, and then it stops. Hang on. Just keep covering your eyes. See what happens. Cover and each time you uncover the eyes, the gears grind back the other way. Hang on. Darkness! 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 Mm. At that point, Rina takes the torches, throws them out, shy the one which Philippe is holding. Throws them out the door. Uh, you already so shut mine out. Alright, fair enough. Then I shut mine out, damp out the light. Nothing. Maybe specifically covering their eyes is the truth. Perhaps. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking of that. Uh, so Philip will take out his uh, cloak and tie it around the the the, the, the fog. And I got the bandages around my hands to tie to tie up the eyes of this the bat and the other one. And as you cover each of their eyes, the gears grind a little bit further. Okay, Riordan takes off his takes off his shirt and tears it into three parts. For so God's he... sake, why do I get naked? <laughs> <laughs> he ties about each one of, of the ones on his side, a blindfold around theirs. The pedestal rotates and an ornate stone cube emerges from a hatch in its surface. Can we take it? Do you take it? Uh, no, can you? <laughs> I reach to take it. You have a puzzle cube. Hooray! Nailed it! Should step close, my friend. Can we take our clothes back? I leave mine. I will take my cloak and my bandages because I still like it. Maybe I'm not as useless as I thought. The pedestal closes back up again. But we still got the cube. But you've still got the cube, so. Yay! I've got the cube. I think maybe it's time we go back to the camp. Yep. So how how many are remaining? One. Ooh. And on that note, uh, let's draw a close to this session with Romad lost. I somewhere. Before that, I must mention that Philip and Riordan are doing a pimp walk as they exit the temple. <laughs> he uh, I is playing uh, chess at the river. <laughs> With, with Romad lost somewhere unknown to the rest of the party uh, in Omu, Seraphine and Renala on the hunt, uh, Riordan and Felif pimp-walking their way back from the shrine <laughs> with Riordan shirtless. We will draw a close <laughs> to this session here. Uh, we will see you in two weeks' time for more Tomb of Annihilation. In the meantime, uh, tomorrow night, I will be back with Sean playing... Uh, Minecraft, where we will be continuing to probably craft up some of the cottages for around town, as we've now got uh, Snowgrace Manor, we've got Tanny's no, Lair, we've got uh, Jennifer's Cottage that hasn't been named by Jennifer yet. Sean says, yes, we will. Woo! Also, hi, Sean. Hello, <laughs> hello, <Yeah>. Birmingham. <laughs> hi, Sean. Um... <laughs> What have we got? What else have we got? Who else is? Oh, we built Amy's cottage. We've built uh, Jeff's cottage. Uh, we haven't decorated any of them yet. Um, so we're going to be working on the cottages. Uh, on Wednesday, we're going to be cottaging. Because uh, I think we still we still need so many blooming cottages. We've got a lot of friends. We need a cottage for Ben. We need a cottage for Sean. We need a cottage for... We've got so many friends, we should just kill a few. <laughs> that would be easier. Uh, no, we need a cottage for Ben and we need a cottage for Sean. And that's the list I can remember off the top of my head at the moment. We need a cottage for Carboom. Oh, God. Three more, at least. Um, way much more than that. Way much more than that in the long run. Um, do we better if you just build a tower block? Yeah, maybe maybe <laughs> we'll do that. Um, 
yeah, damn all you friends making Sean work. We love you. Um, meanwhile, uh, on Wednesday this week, um, myself, Sean, uh, Jenna, Je not Jennifer, other people, Amy, <laughs> Maddie, Sammy, and Carboom will all be back for Curse of This Vampire Dude. Which Tani is ex incredibly excited about, as you can tell. You can tell. <laughs> I can just feel the energy. <laughs> and then on Friday of this week, uh, Jeff takes the DM chair over as he starts Princes of the Apocalypse with uh, Sean and Tani. And um, <laughs> that guy and that other guy that's laughing, and Demona and Brian. So that's that's going to be interesting, and I get to watch that one and just feel the emotions from the outside looking in. Uh, and then next Sunday night we'll be back with Storm King's Thunder, where uh, road trip guys. Uh, road trip! The, the group is heading to see um, Kalen's Chuckles and Giggles. Uh, where the group is heading to see Kalen's orcish tribe uh, yeah, by marriage. Kalen get chopped head off. Head chopped off. Uh, chopped head off, yes. Chopped head off, yeah. And then before the fortnight is over and we're back with more Tomb of Annihilation, we'll have another Minecraft Monday. We'll have a, uh, Sammy and I are going to have a comic book sit down nerdy chat about Captain Marvel. And I you think, have to watch it. <laughs> I think Carboom is going to join us yeah. for that one. I got stuff to say. Um, because <laughs> Carboom also is allowed opinions. No, he said that. We have not admitted it. Um, yes. And given the given the amount of comic book chatter I had at the weekend, we need to reach out to uh, Lisa Toffee Apple uh, to get her on one of these in the future. Because we do basically. So there. So there. Um, so we'll be back with those. If you haven't done so already and you are in the chat, thank you so much. Please hit that follow button on your way out. It lets you guys know when we go live. Uh, it's a great way that you can completely for free support us on the channel. Um, I I think I can. I think. I think I can. I know I can. It's possible. It's quite possible. It might not be possible. I'm not too sure. Take a look for us. Oh no, I don't have that quote. Oh. Oh, never mind. Is they screwing us? Super califragilistic No, I don't. I don't have the quote of because I say so. Oh, thank God damn it, put it in. Um, <laughs> we'll see you around next time, guys. For now, thanks for the emotions. Thanks for joining in. Uh, we'll see how the party shapes up again in a fortnight's time. For now, farewell. Bye, losers. Bye. 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 Bye.